Hi everyone, so I'm going to do my favorites for the month of January. Usually I go back and I watch like the month before to make sure I don't have any duplicates. So I'm hoping I don't have any duplicates because I haven't watched it, but I just wanted to get this video done for you guys. So I'm going to start off with nail products. So I've been obsessed with these Essie Lux FX polishes. They're just so pretty. So this is set in stone. Just a beautiful silver, really chunky sparkles. This is a cut above. It's same idea, but pink sparkles. This is as gold as it gets. So it's like gold flakes of glitter. So pretty. And then this guy is called Shine of the Times. Just kind of like opalescent. Has several different colors in there. And they're just really beautiful for layering over dark polishes or just wearing them by themselves. Um, another polish is this guy, Butter London in Wallace. It's this beautiful, like, it's kind of gold with like a greeny kind of tone in there. It's kind of a very different looking polish. I've never seen this color before, that's why I got it, because I just thought it was so interesting looking. It's such a pretty color. So next, I'm going to talk about perfume. This is Victoria's Secret Bombshell. I love the love, love the smell of this perfume. I really like their Noir Tees perfume that they have as well, which is really nice and it broke when I moved, so I was really upset I have to get another one. So at the moment I just have this guy that I've been using, but I really, really like it. I'm not really big into perfume, but I really love the scent of this one. Another Victoria's Secret product is the Smooth lip scrub and balms. Just kind of open it up and there's like a scrub in there and then you open the top and there's like a lip gloss. I don't really like the gloss that much but I really love the scrubs. My lips have been so dry in the weather here lately so I love this little lip treatment. It's really nice. Um, also for lip products been really liking this. This is Max Lasting Sensation. It's like a really bright kind of orange color. I have it on right now, but what I do is I kind of like lightly apply it and then I've been wearing it with this. It's dirty because I was blending it, but it's like a white iridescent lipstick. So basically I just put that lip liner and then I kind of blend this over top so it makes a really pretty like peach kind of color, which is, that's what I have on right now. And then I just put a little bit of this Joie, Joie lip gloss, the one that came in the birch box, a really bright pink. I just put like a little touch of that just to make it shiny. So I've been loving this combination. Um, Another thing that I just discovered recently is these Bounce Dream Bouncy Maybelline Blushes. It's like the weirdest. I love the texture of this. It's kind of like mushy and then it like bounces back. But I love the texture of this blush. So this is Candy Coral. And this is Orchid Hush really pretty purpley pink and this guy I kind of use as a bronzer almost is coffee cake so you can use it it's kind of like a it's not it looks really orangey but it's actually really pretty it's soft on the cheeks and then this guy is pink frosting which is really bright pink. So I've loved these. They're very sheer. You can kind of build them, but you have to kind of keep applying. But they're really pretty sheer wash of color. Like I have the pink frosting on. Like it's just very soft and it gives a nice, it's not like overly dewy. It's kind of like a powdery dewy finish. It's kind of confusing, but I really like the texture of that. Maybelline came out with a lot of new stuff that was fun lately. I also like these color tattoo. This guy is in Edgy Emerald. It's 
such a pretty green color. And then I also got the purple one, which I love. Painted purple. It's such a pretty... They are kind of sheer. I just really like pack it on. Kind of have to, the purple one doesn't go on as nice. Kind of have to like pack it on, but once you get a couple layers on there, it's such a pretty color. It's so bright. But that another base that I've been really liking that I got for Christmas is the Shadow Insurance, the Too Faced one. It just kind of like evens out the skin tone on your eyelid. It has a little bit of a tint to it, but it's not like shiny or anything. It's just kind of like a concealer kind of color. But it really like evens out your the skin tone on your eyelid when you put it on. And I like using this and then I'll put like the NYX Jumbo Pencil as a base under over top. Um, next. So... For skin stuff that's I've been really loving is the Garnier Skin Renew. This is like a concealer, moist like a moisturizing concealer, and it's got the little roller ball, and I like it just feels so nice under the eyes. My eyes have been so dry and it just keeps it really like nice and moist under there. And then for base, I've been using the Laura Geller Spackle. I just started using this probably right after Christmas. And I've been really liking it. I've been using quite a bit of it, but I really have been liking this primer. I usually use the Makeup Forever, the HD primer. I just wanted to try something that was a little bit cheaper. I think this one's $25 as opposed to the other one's like $36, I believe. So I tried this one because a lot of people really like this primer, and I quite liked it. And then for foundation, this one's very difficult to get. My sister-in-law lives in Japan and picked up some BB creams for me. Uh, this is La Roche Posay BB cream. It's made in France even though she got it in Japan. Um, I just love, I mean I like the bottle, like you don't get tons of product that comes out, but the coverage for this is, it has really good coverage. It looks really nice, like I have it on right now. It has a really nice finish to it. It's just, the texture is really nice, and it's very like moisturizing, but, and you can layer it and get really good coverage. But yeah, I love it. It's very, it feels just, feels really nice on the skin. Makeup palettes, of course. Naked 2, I've been loving this, I've been using it a ton, using it in lots of tutorials. I just love the colors. I just do, I wish they just had a, another blending color that wasn't like so dark. Like I really liked Naked and Buck from the first palette for blending colors. So that's the only probably downside I could say about it. I have both. I love both of them. They have, the diff the colors are quite different. There's only a couple of similar colors, but I love, I've been loving this a lot. And the other one I've really been liking is the Too Faced Sweet Dreams palette. It's just got the most gorgeous colors. Tons of really pretty colors. You can see, I'm trying not to blind you with the mirror. And then I love, there's like the little drawer. The little drawer that pulls out. And then it's got the chocolate soleil, got a highlight, really pretty blush colors. And then these little cards that kind of show you different looks, which is really fun. So that's those and then last thing I don't know if I talked about this in my December but it's this stippling brush real technique stippling brush I've been loving this brush I've been using it it does not shed it's just such a great brush I think it was like eight dollars or something I got it at Ulta I really want to pick up some more of their brushes I heard I've heard great things about their eyeshadow brushes a lot of my MAC brushes are getting really old and I've been shedding quite a bit so this one's been really nice because it doesn't shed at all. So I've been loving that. <clears throat> so yeah, that is all my favorites for the month of January. Um, please subscribe, leave me your comments or requests if there's certain tags you want me to do or video lo like looks that you want me to do. Just let me know and I'd be happy to do that for you. I hope you guys have a great day and thanks so much for watching.